And welcome back to the show. Studio Three is a unique creative nexus for arts made up of studios for artists to create, as well as a gallery for exhibitions and events and a photo studio for all scales of content creation. Now, Studio 3, NYC's mission is to foster opportunities for exposure, as well as sales and networking and educational programming in New York City and abroad. We are pleased to have joining us here on the show right now, the founders of Studio 3 NYC, Zoe Johnson and Anna Lussberg. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having us, Darren. Thank you, Darren. Thank you. Well, the arts is very important. It's important. There are uh, hundreds and thousands of artists right there in New York City. Talk to us about uh, your decision to really try to give artists a space. Yes. Yeah, so Anna and myself actually met through working at a gallery space in Chelsea a few years back. And we thought that um, it would be a great opportunity for us to both use our expertise in the art field to create a space for artists, by artists, because both myself and Anna are artists as well. Um, and just to create a community space for artists to really network, create together, and have a safe space to exhibit, create their work, and showcase their work. Yeah. And that's how Studio 3 was. was yeah. Cool. Anna, give me a little bit more about this here, because when you talk about coming together, um, I, I hear Zoe say, Zoe talk about the opportunity to create space and really and really come together. What does that mean for artists to be able to have that space and to be able to come together? Right, so as an artist, um, you're usually isolated from everyone else. It can be a very isolating process when you're creating, whether it's in your studio or your home. Um, so the opportunity to connect is actually very important. And we know this, like Zoe mentioned, as artists ourselves, but also because we've worked in gallery settings. So we know that the connections that you make as a professional, um, really taking it seriously as a career is just very important to building your career, right? Um, we both know, both of our networks are made up of many artists and creatives, um, all different types of artists, visual artists, performing artists, et cetera. Um, so we just know that the connections you make, other artists also link you to other opportunities to do more work and get exposure, but even more than exposure, just the experience to better conduct yourself. A lot of artists don't know necessarily how to price their work or how to market themselves. That's a whole other ball game in addition to just focusing on your practice of creating. So we understand this and we've just seen over the years from our own experiences working and also just in our social lives and our creative spaces that there is a need for artists to come together. It's just very important for building. Yeah. And when we talk about building, uh you want to expand. And I know one of the things that you're talking about is the need to actually expand, given the fact there are so many artists and you've got a space, but you still want to see some more. Talk about that. But we know about this community of artists that's in the South Bronx in particular, which is where we want to base our brick and mortar space once we can open it. Um, but in general, we're in this New York art world. We're kind of in this scene. So we do want to build it specifically uptown and in the South Bronx. Um, where we feel like there are so many artists and creatives and a ton of great people have always come out of the Bronx. Um, but we want to see more of a community and more of a connectedness, especially as there's a lot of development and things gonna be changing in the Bronx in coming years. I hope that helped answer. Yeah. Zoe, do you wanna add to that? <laughs> well, as an immigrant myself, originally from South Africa, um, I felt that when coming over here, I had especially a really hard time connecting with the creative community in the Bronx and New York City. And that's why uh, myself and Anna also wanted to focus more on Uptown and the Bronx um, creatives. Um, I've lived in the Bronx for probably about 14 years or so. And I always felt that since I do have so many friends in Brooklyn, it was especially challenging for me to you know, make that trek all the way from the Bronx to Brooklyn just to um, interact with more creatives. Yes, there is a community or creative um, space in the Bronx, but I feel that it hasn't really been tapped into as much as it should, should be tapped in. And as a woman entrepreneur, obviously you guys are 
uh, launching out in this kind of way. Um, what's it mean to you, for you to be a woman entrepreneur, launch in this space, and particularly in a time like this, right, when uh, we're coming out, of, coming out of COVID, this pandemic, and art is definitely a necessity. As a women entrepreneurs, I mean, this space of the arts and ownership of spaces in general is definitely male dominated in this industry. Um, and when it comes to the arts in particular, you're telling stories. So it's very important to keep that in mind when you look at ownership of anything that you are engaging with or consuming. And the arts is a great way to educate others. And so, you know, we, we engage with the arts, whether it's a museum or gallery setting or anything, a pop-up show, whatever it may be, you're learning and you're really um, getting to learn somebody's story. So that's why it's important to look at ownership. And I think that it's great for women to be owners and founders. Um, Zoe and I have both worked in gallery settings that had a lot of um, women in positions of leadership, but the ownership was often male. So at the end of the day, the the final decisions were made, not by necessarily the people on the ground working and making things happen, but by the owner, as that usually how it works. And that also um, adds to how many other opportunities you can make. You know, with being women owners, I mean, we are just are women. We were born as women. It is what it is. Um, but it becomes like, we just want to be owners of our own. You know, it's great that we're women, but we just are people who want to start something great. And I think it's even better that we offer the female perspective on, in terms of storytelling. And before we go, Zoya, I'll let you get the final word. Talk to me about what, you, what people can expect coming up in the near future. What people can expect about coming in the near future. Well, we are definitely um, very, we're very excited about what is coming. Um, we definitely plan on doing more events to showcase more local artists in the Bronx. We're very excited about that. We've been um, building on our network, um, letting people know how they can support us as well. Um, we recently started crowdfunding to open up our space, um, getting any amount of donations that we can, and just letting engaging in more artists, and especially if they um, need a space to create, we've been keeping them updated on what our latest development as well. Been reaching out to friends and family, as well as um, fellow supporters about the upcoming events. And um, they can definitely get in touch with us on any way and means to share or donate, support us um, through our social media or email. Well, Anna, Zoe, thank you so much for being with us. And congratulations on Studio 3 NYC. Of course, we will get our viewers now uh, the opportunity to find out more about you and to be connected. So thank you, guys. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so Anna. much. All righty. Well, I want to let you know now, for more information, follow them on Instagram at studio3.nyc. 